hello hello today uh, this time around i'm going to show you how to comment on uh, regression analysis in cells usually we regress uh, two variables one in independent variable or a predictor variable is also called an explanatory variable we regress it against the dependent variable okay so this is a data set for a company which was being measured its uh, customers the experience with their product or service against their the, the repeat purchase intention of the customer so we're seeing the tendency to repeat purchases of the company's customers is the dependent variable which depend on the customer experience of the customers of that company so what i'm going to do is a smart way of uh, analyzing these uh, uh, results i'm going to pop out a do file and that do file will do all the analysis after all the analysis is being shown on the output i'll then explain what uh, regression analysis implies so here i choose my do file and then i open as i open all the analysis will be shown and then i will then comment on the analysis you see they say end of do file means end of the commands so we are going to see this uh, research was done uh, using a linked scale so the customers perceptions were measured on a scale of uh, saying five levels um, agree strongly agree neutral disagree and strongly disagree so we then coded into a hierarchy of uh, numbers and then we have this now so um you see this output it is saying regression coefficient 1.81 this is saying that ease of access a unit increase in ease of access will cause a 1.813 increase in the repeat purchase intention and this is the standard error this is a t value and this is statistical significance and the confidence interval for the for the coefficient so these coefficients they show you that an increase in a unit of the explanatory variable how much impact will it show on the dependent variable again here with accessibility we are saying if customers are experiencing easy access easy accessibility to the product this will have an impact of 0 0.74 uh, positive impact of 0 0.74 on the on the repeat purchase intention so this is it and also there is this uh, ANOVA you see SS DF and MS for output of the regression and here you see it is said uh, r squared r squared tells us how much percentage the explanatory variable is causing variation in the repeat uh, purchase intention it means uh, repeat purchase intention uh, about 60 percent of the output is being contributed by that uh, uh, variable explanatory variable accessibility uh, so this is how you explain a binary regression. I also did a multiple regression for this analysis. And the multiple regression was uh, now a combination of four components. Query solving, navigation, we are saying easy navigation of the mobile app of the company, and the accessibility and also um let me get then show you the variables here 
we are saying promptness how quick are they in solving the company's um, uh, customers queries so all these they were statistically significant and we can see good accessibility is a positive coefficient navigatable positive uh, coefficient promptness positive coefficient this query solving means the company was not so solving um, uh, customer queries quickly why because we are saying there is a negative impact on the g on the repeat purchase intention when it comes to query resolving so this is a multiple regression analysis it also is a constant and the constant was also statistically significant statistically significant only mean that it's a factor to consider it's something of important so all these uh, variables were important except promptness thank you so much